Hey what's up guys and welcome to another first impressions video on Xbox One where if you hadn't already heard Gears of War 4's map rotation is in full effect where every month for a year two new maps get added into the rotation to play while two others get removed from rotation to make sure that there's always 10 maps. Though if you have the season pass you can of course still go into custom games and play on the maps that have been removed out of the rotation if you wish to do so if it was your favourite map to play on horde mode for example. The two new maps added into the rotation are Checkout and Dry Dock. Checkout is actually set in Coltrane's hometown of Hanover, where the map is set in an iconic supermarket which Cole, Baird, Sam and Clayton Carmine salvaged through in Act 1 of Gears of War 3. Of course, a lot of you may recognise it as it was also a multiplayer map in the game. Though in Gears of War 4, the map is actually set 25 years after the events of Gears of War 3, so it's slowly started to become overgrown rather than what we saw in Gears of War 3, where the map is a little bit cleaner. Though, that's not saying much. It's a really fun map built around lots of shelving that block your line of sight and forces you into more intense encounters. Personally, I really love how the four stores along the four walls each offer a different layout and have their own individual strengths. Do you go for the open lines of sight around the store's entrance? Or do you go for the cover of a more enclosed store where it's harder to be picked off by long range weapons? Also, choosing between these locations as a place to plant the fabricator in horde mode is really tricky. One feature that the fans of the Gears of War 3 map will definitely enjoy is the return of the fire alarms. Found on the wall of the electronics store in the photo center, these alarms drown the level in sound, making it easier to sneak off on enemies that you've flanked. Sadly, we've not been able to find the fire extinguisher you could unlock in Gears 3, Maybe the Coalition have hidden it somewhere else. The second map added into the rotation is Dry Dock, which is also a map returning from Gears of War 3, which was actually one of my personal favorites. However, the big difference here is the setting of the map. It has been moved from a cog ship building facility to a ship breaking scrapyard on a Seren mudflat. What I love about this version of the map is the attention to detail. The coalition have crammed into every single part. The rusting metal is marked with instructions for removal. And if you move to the swarm spawning point, you'll find this fishing shack complete with a menu of unpleasant sounding purchases. Of course, what's really important is that it remains a brilliantly tactical map. There are these two smaller pipe runways that let you flank the central bridge. As long as you don't mind risking being out of cover as you sprint across and the height difference between the upper deck and the mud below creates lots of intense angles of attack in horde mode. Standing up on the deck as trackers tear through the tunnels below makes for a really satisfying target gallery. Dry Dock is also a really great playground in horde mode. While it's too early to pick out a winning strategy just yet, it does offer great defensive ground at either end of the raised ship. One of the best things about these brand new maps is that we have to shake up the strategies we've developed in playing weeks and weeks of horde on the existing maps. It's all too easy to rely on familiar tactics once you've made it to wave 50 a couple of times new layouts are like playing the mode for the very first time all over again so there we have it our very first impressions on the brand new gears of war 4 maps make sure to let us know what you think in the comments below drop a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content and we'll see you guys next time